Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to show that the rank of the matrix is equal to the rank of its transpose matrix. So this is how the equation goes. The rank of a matrix A will be equal to the rank of its transpose matrix A transpose matrix. So how are we going to do it? We will first think of a matrix. This matrix will be called matrix A having any number of rows and columns and first we will find the rank of matrix A using normal form we have already covered this in our previous video and after this we will transpose matrix A the transpose of matrix will be called A trans and we will again find the rank of this A transpose using normal form and so now the last step is that if we find that the rank of matrix A equals to the rank of matrix A transpose, it means that the rank of a matrix is equals to the rank of a transpose over here. So let's get started on this video, on the lesson. So let's think of a matrix with any number of rows and columns. So let me clear this up first. So now this will be our my matrix that I've thought of. So let's say matrix A equals to 1, 3, 7, 2, 3, 8, 0, 1, Two, four, zero, four. So this is my matrix, four rows and three columns. So let's do step one first. So step one means that we are find the rank of this matrix in normal form. So first, let's reduce this matrix first. This is row 1, row 2, row 3, and row 4. So now, let's reduce it first. How do we do our to how do we find the rank of a plane using normal form? We'll first reduce it to row echelon form first. So we'll sort first. That's our step first. So we sort after we sort row 3, row 4. Again, 1, 3. Sorry about that. Step 1. So now from here, you have to eliminate the entry below 1 here in this column, so it's 2 and 4. So first, minus 2 times of row 1, plus row 2.
and for this is minus 4 times of row 1 plus row 3 so from here then row 1 will still be the same Now for the second row, so minus 2 times 1 equals to minus 2, minus 2 plus 2 equals to 0. For this is minus 2 times 3 equals to minus 6, minus 6 plus 3 equals to minus 3. For this is minus 2 times 7 equals to minus 14, minus 14 plus 8 equals to minus 6. And for this, we'll go to 0. And now for this is minus 2 times 3 equals to minus 6, minus 6 plus 0 equals to minus 6. And now for this, minus 2 times, no, minus, so this should be, sorry about that. This should be minus 12 because minus 4 times 2 equals to minus 12. So it looks, this is minus 4 times 7 equals to minus 28. Minus 28 plus 4 equals to minus 24. And this again is 0, 1, 2. So from here, this will be a new row 1, new row 2, new row 3, new row 4. So from here, you want to eliminate minus 12 and 1 here in the second column. So again, minus 4 times of row 2 plus row 3. This one, to eliminate this 1 here, so it's minus oh so it's one over three times row two plus row four so from here for this step here so again first row will still be the same one three seven 0, second row will still be the same, 0 minus 3 minus 6. Now for this, so minus 3 times minus 4 equals to 12, 12 minus 12 equals to 0. And this one also, minus 6 times minus 4 equals to 24, 24 minus 24 equals to 0. And for this, so 1 over 3 times minus 3 equals to minus 1, minus 1 plus 1 equals to 0. And for this also, so this will be minus 2, and minus 2 plus 2 equals to 0. So from here, we found we can actually for our leading entry here we can make it to one. So this second row we can divide by minus three. So therefore, again first row was will not be disturbed. Second row we divide by minus three, so zero, one, and then two. Zero, 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 zero. So from here, we found that there are two rows with leading entries of 1. So therefore, from here, therefore we can say that there are two rows with leading entries therefore rank of A equals equals to 2 now step 1 is done step 2 is to transpose this matrix therefore A transpose equals to so now the column will become row so 1 and the row will become column as well so 1 2 0 4 3 3 1 0 7 8 
two, four. So, step three, find the rank of this matrix. Again, let's reduce this to row echelon form. So this is our row 1, row 2, and row 3. So first to eliminate 3 and 7 below 1 in column 1. So it's first step minus 3 times row 1 plus row 2. And for this, so it's minus 7 times row 1. plus row 3 so from here first row will not be disturbed so minus 3 times 1 equals to minus 3 minus 3 plus 3 equals to 0 and this minus 3 times 2 equals to minus 6 minus 6 plus 3 equals to minus 3 so all this minus 3 times 0 equals to 0, 0 plus 1 equals to 1. This will go as minus 12 because minus 3 times 4 equals to minus 12. And for this, so minus 7 times 1 equals to minus 7. Minus 7 plus 7 equals to 0. For this, will go to minus 7 times 2 equals to minus 14. Minus 14 plus 8 equals to minus 6. And for this, minus 7 times 0 equals to 0, 0 plus 2 equals to 2 and for the last column minus 7 times 4 equals to minus 28 minus 28 plus 4 equals to minus 24 and now to reduce let's eliminate the minus 6 in the second column which is below minus 3 so therefore we will minus so if you want to make this 0, it's minus 2 times minus 3 equals to 6. 6 minus 6 equals to 0. Therefore, minus 2 times row 2. Add to row 3. Therefore, okay, let me cover this up first. First row will not be disturbed. Now for the second row also will not be disturbed. Now for the third row, so 0. And then now, minus 2 times minus 3 equals to 6. 6 minus 6 equals to 0. And now this. So minus 2 times 1 equals to minus 2, minus 2 plus 2 equals to 0. And this, so minus 2 times minus 12 equals to 24, 24 minus 24 equals to 0. So from here, therefore we can see that there are two rows. Therefore, the rank of A transpose equals to 2. So now step four. Let's confirm this first. Therefore, we found that rank A equals to rank. A transpose equals to 
equals to 2. So now step 5, we can say that since the rank of this matrix is equal to the rank of this transpose, therefore we have shown that the rank of any matrix equals to the rank of its transpose. And we have already shown it. So we have already come to the end of this lesson. If you have any questions regarding on how to find the rank of a matrix using normal form, you can look through my previous videos regarding this. And you can also drop me a comment and I will get back to your comment. Thanks so much for watching and have a nice day.